I'm independent as fuck and I don't need a man for a motherfucking thing. I don't understand what is so wrong with being provided for. Like, why can't you provide like your grandfather provided for your grandmother or you'd like your dad provided for your mom? Men need to express how they feel because I cannot stand a man who cannot express his emotions. So my boyfriend told me that he wants me to text him first and be more supportive of his dreams. Like, okay, when did you become the princess in this relationship? Like, what kind of lip gloss you want? Men need to express their emotions. I cannot stand a man that bottles everything inside. So the other day, my boyfriend snacked at me and said I'm so dismissive and I don't listen. And I'm like, huh, okay, get a little spicy there. Get a little zesty there. Huh, you been listening to Drake? That what you been doing? Got you in your feels? Men never appreciate what women do for them. And honestly, it's sad. So my boyfriend told me he was going to take me to the Bahamas for a two-week vacation. As he should, as he should, because we deserve it. What? No, no, I didn't say thank you. Fuck gratitude. Men need to communicate more. Babe, what's wrong? Nothing. Men need to stop expecting women to be their mothers, okay? I'm your partner, not your mom. So basically, I feel like I want a man that's just like my dad. I want a man to provide for me, protect me, pay all my bills, and protect me from all hurt, harm, and danger, just like my daddy did. I want to feel safe. I am so tired of never being approached. Like, how come guys never notice me? So this random guy I don't know came up to me in the self-checkout lane at Walmart and told me I was beautiful. And it's like, uh, excuse me, stalker. Like, well, how long have you been watching me, you creep? I am so ready for a relationship, like I'm ready to be somebody's woman again, I want to be a bae. So like I never respond to any of my DMs ever. If I see an attractive man in the club and he doesn't see me, then we just ain't talking, that's just what it is. So I don't understand why I can't just work and have a man take care of me. So there's this really cute guy in my job who makes the same amount of money I do. But I turned him down because I don't date down. I cannot wait until I'm the fine rich auntie, I'ma be a cougar, I'ma be in my 40s getting all my little nephews, little 20 year old friends. So the fact that you're a man in your 40s and your girlfriend is like 23, it's giving predator, it's, it's, it's giving grooming, it's, it's bad, it's a problem. Because men are not complicated or difficult to please, that's women. Men are not sold nor do they buy into these unrealistic and idealistic, fallacious ideas of romantic love, such as soulmates in the one, that's women. Cliches such as happy wife, happy life, and the woman is always right does not exist for men, that's women. A man's feelings aren't conveyed to be the focal point of a relationship, nor is the relationship satisfaction and longevity predicated upon a man's feelings, that's women. Men are not the ones you have to simp and pander to in order to please them, that's women. Men are not the ones who say they want one thing and then end up with the other. That's women. Men are not the ones who struggle to operate within the confinements of reality or hold themselves accountable when things go wrong in the relationship. That's women. Men are not the ones who develop these entitled, spoiled, I'm always right no matter what because my feelings said so attitude. That's women. Men are not the ones who struggle with pettiness, spitefulness, and passive aggressiveness. That's women. Depicted as innocent angels in the media. That's women. Pick the wrong men and then complain that no good men exist. That's women. Unrealistic expectations, unreasonable standards, and shitty selectivity. That's women. So y'all, I caused myself being mad at my husband for the past couple of days. I'm talking minimal communication, you know, silent treatment, being downstairs, right? And I'm starting thinking about it. And this dude is living his best life while I'm down here suffering. He doesn't have to worry about anybody trying to boss the TV. He doesn't have to worry about anybody tossing and turning, pulling the covers off him all night. Like, he 
Y'all yeah. still ain't figured out that the silent treatment don't work. Maybe it, do, it don't. It don't work. It don't work. I promise you, it don't. Do y'all have any idea how much they be praying for us to just be quiet sometimes? Like y'all still ain't figured this out, ladies. One thing about us, okay, we talk too damn much. I don't know what it is about us. We just can't help ourselves, but we talk too much. That man is praying for silence. You're at home. He can see you, so he's not stressing about your safety, and you're being quiet. That is not a punishment for them. And the reason why it's not is because they know us. They know we can't be quiet for too damn long. It's like I said, ladies, we talk too much. He know we gonna break eventually, so he gonna enjoy the silence while he got it. Now that don't mean he don't care. It's just the silent treatment is not the punishment that we think it is. It's, it, it's not, it's just not. I'm in time again. We hear men scream that they want peace over and over and over again. We blatantly ignore them and do the opposite. It's just sad that we can't let men be men how they want to be men. Or us women are telling men how to be men when we ain't never walked a day in the life of a man. It's just, the shit is starting to get to me. Like, like we're starting to be the problem. Yeah, we're, 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 I, I think we have the men beat, ladies. I think we're the problem. I'm sorry, we are. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Roast me in the comments if you want to. I have realized why women think they are better than men. Because we have a problem with accountability. Most women can't admit their faults or their flaws about anything when it comes to a relationship. And because we don't know how to do that, we think we are just these perfect patties when no, we can be just as toxic as these men. And quite frankly, a lot of y'all are narcissistic, controlling, and abusive verbally and physically. And then you wanna blame the fact that we're emotional? No sis, no sis. You gotta get those emotions in check because you're a grown ass woman. You're an adult and you should be able to control your behavior. Those who can't are children. Okay, so if you're a grown woman and you don't know how to control your emotions, it's giving child. Men are not natural protectors, providers, or leaders. Why do y'all make these arguments with y'all in competition with the opposite sex? Like seriously, it gets old. And every time I hear one of y'all speak on these topics, Y'all start with contradictory statements and it's a whole lot of hypocrisy in your ideology. Whenever you push for patriarchy or matriarchy, it's always done in a way to demean the opposite sex or the opposite system. Man, one, you said that men are not natural leaders, providers, or protectors, right? But then you said that women are the natural leaders, providers, and protectors. And the caveat you use to try and prove your point is that we will only protect what's ours but then go on to say that women are protectors because they birthed the community, they birthed the children, et cetera, et cetera. Like that's still a sense of ownership. I don't know why it can't just be that there's always gonna be bad bunches. There's gonna be bad apples in the bunch. Nothing's perfect. Nothing's 100% foolproof. Yeah, we do have to protect you from other men because there's a whole lot of men that run straight. Just like we need women to protect us from other women. Cause we can't go at them the way we would other men. Like the moment y'all start competing with each other will be the moment that we start building. But right now it seems like y'all made poor decisions in y'all relationship choices. And instead of just saying, look, I fucked up cause I ain't know how to pick and choose the right person. Men and women on the internet trying to demonize the other side. The fact that these girls can't lock down a man is, is pathetic. It's, it's not hard to make a man happy. And so ladies out here, your competition is so low. To be 30, and single but wanting to have a relationship and you still haven't got it and you still go on TikTok and complain and insist that it's not you it's them is sad you don't have high standards you just haven't met someone yet who is willing to put in the time and effort to meet your standards don't hit on certain points one has to come up to compensate for the other where a girl does not a girl could be literally broke she could be missing a tooth she could be doing whatever it is there's no expectations the guy just vibes with her likes her wants her but you don't need a career you want a career that's your choice you have passion that's fine that's awesome but to think that you would ever go for a guy 
in the same sentence that guy oh wait he's a bus boy you didn't go for him now he's super successful now you'll go for him yes and don't tell me no because you're yeah. full of shit. yeah you're full of so these are the differences girl works in a or is a bus girl a busser then she has a career i'm gonna guarantee he didn't give a what she was doing did not care I guarantee he didn't even ask. The guys that ask is now a new culture of p At the end of the day, you wanted to cook, clean, do all this stuff, and have a career? Come on, brother. Good. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it.